Welcome back to the part 2 of the VB online exam system. So I'm going to start with the questions now. I will copy this, this very frame group box 3. Let's copy that. Control C is copied and just let's be sure it's copied and just paste it on the system right there. Okay, it is right there. But let's change the coordinates. Let's get it right. This should be 7. And this is 93. Right there. No. Let's bring it out and do that again. 47,93. Okay. Well, what was the coordinate for this? Let's check out the first one. Oh, 42. I'm wrong then. Before doing that, 4288, 42,88, right there. Okay, good. Now let's change the content in here. Let's change this one to question one to five. Okay, and I will now delete all of these because I don't need this. Delete. And the OK and Nate, we have to go as well. Let's make sure, yep, we don't need the OK button on this one. But we have to navigate with the arrow up here. And the next thing is, I will then speed that up, just enter all of the questions those questions will be in label right here guys those are my first five questions they are all in label so instead of developing it individually for you guys to see these ones do have they do have their own name okay and these are text box all of these are all text box. Let's change the fonts of those text box. Let's come in here and change the font to something visible that you guys will be able to see. Let's make that maybe about 12. Let's see the size of the text box in here. Yeah, it's 12, so that's fine. So that's 12 and this is a label as well I just imported an image into it but that's a button sorry that's a button and I have labels here let's bring it down a little bit okay that's for question number one to five now let's create another one we have one to five then we need question six so let me click on that and just copy it again copy and paste it right on the form right there let's confirm the coordinate let's go to location that should be 42 88 there and delete all of this delete that okay and change this to question 6 question 6 there now let's get question number six in place okay the question for question six we speed that up as well and right here I have all the questions the optional answers are in radio buttons are on the radio buttons this is a label and here I have that's a label all, all of these are all labels okay all right so that is taken care of okay now let's take care of question number seven because we only be having seven questions so I'm going to copy this one again with our very frame okay now that that is copied we're going to paste it in there that is it is right there as you can see let's make sure it is positioned that is 42 88 let's move it out and get that down again okay it must yeah 
42,88. Yeah. Now, we we'll change this text to question 7. That's the last question. And all of this question in there, this belongs to question number 6. So, we now need question 7 in here. So, let's speed that up to okay fellows I have my question 7 okay here I have a, li a label there and here these are all radio buttons that's a label as well that's a label 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 and label now now that I have all the questions in place I now need two more one for review and the other one to show all the results okay so let's we're going to copy this again let's just copy it okay let's paste it there and right here guys I have that as well so let's just align it properly and get it aligned right there so that is for that is for the review questions so what happened is at the end of the exam you can always click on review or you can click on continue which will take you straight to where the answers are okay so the next thing is let's get another one in place we've actually speed it up and that is it right there the last one let's move it up that is the last group box this group box actually show you the the result and so on and uh, the max that has called that's called okay make that and take that up as well so that's how that looks I have label these are all labels and here those are all labels as well and do that these are all labels labels label and a button and here I have check results okay let's increase the font of that okay i think that was 20. did i make that 20 20 or what yeah something like that let's move this down and see let's be consistent with the with the text content move this down as well and see what do i have in there i have 22 so undo the first one, change that to 22. There. Okay, and we'll position this, change this to 22 first. Now we we'll position this 42 by go to 42 by 88 right there okay now it's all ready so all we now need to do is this will be for once we click on ok that will be the end of the program so so double click on oh before that let's do one or two things come in here and let's get the timer double click on timer right there the timer is there and we also need image list image list right there okay now for the image list click and let me select my images right in here let's go for image size let's make that maybe 24 by 24 and change this to maybe 32 okay let's bring this up I'd like you guys to see what I'm going to do next click on that image list again now let's choose an image odd so the images I intend to use is one and one and maybe I should use this yeah just like yeah why not use that 
click on OK. So I have that as number zero and this is number one. Okay, so that's fine. Click on OK right here. All right, so let's move this back down. So now let's double click on this and just enter. Once you finish the exam, that will be application exit. Okay, right there, application dot exit. There, that's uh, one line of code taken care of. Now, let's come in here, up here, you see this exit, double click on that. Oh, it has no name. No, I have to give them all a name or else I'll be confused. Let's come in here. That is BTN. BTN. That will be exit. Now, the next one will be BTN calculator. BTN calculator. I will speed that up. This is BTN help. Okay, the next line of code that I'll take care of is let's double click on the exit right there and just enter as follows. So we'll declare a variable and uh, you'll be asked this question to confirm if you would like to end the exam. If you click on yes, then the system will exit. If you click on no, and the system will allow you to continue okay close program or let's just say close exam all right so if i run it now let's run it and see how that will look like if you click on this okay you've been asked to confirm if you would like to end the exam if you say no it stays put if you say yes that's it gone Let's run it again. Yes, gone. Okay, let's check out this OK button. OK button will just end the whole process without it prompting you for any question. All right, that's fine. There's two things I need to do before I will continue with the coding. I'm going to need a calculator for this and I also need a help file for this. So let's come in here, project add form I'll be adding two forms one for calculator and one for help so the first form form number two will be for my calculator right there add another form the second form will be just for the help file right so let's come in a help file right there here yeah that is fine so for the calculator we can just double click on that and just ask it to show as form to dot show let's raise it dot okay so let's run it and see put form 2 dot show click on that yeah there we go form 2 dot show i'm just going to copy this and use that for the other one form 3 dot show where's form 3 right here double click on that just change that to 3 dot show yeah with form 3 okay let's run that so that you guys see the difference between the two okay that's form 2 and here is form 3 right there okay they're all there okay two and three so close them now close this with the form three let's open up form three i'm going to change the property of that to 1300 and let's make that 60 so that there will be enough room and this is for on nine m sorry 700 okay that's fine 
and then I will copy the help file and just paste it on it. Let's come to the help file is number two. Okay, let's get the format and just paste the help file on it. There we go. That is our help file in the form right there. Okay. Yeah. Let's move this up. Yeah, that's fine so if I run the program now I can always call on my help file there okay depend on where you are on the exam just call on the help file okay so let's get a let's get a code on board from three I mean here oh, where is it yeah that's from three yeah that's from three double click on this and just enter application dot exit okay that's that for form three so if we run it we can always call from three call from three and exit from three so that oh it exits all of the system no we don't want it like that come back in there double click on it and just say me dot close that's me dot close let's try that now okay help file close yeah that's fine help file close okay so the next thing is let's design the calculator interface come here all right for the calculator we need a form we need form two How about that okay let's get a couple of components on board we need two labels one okay two I have two labels there this will be my main label so let's change the property of the main label which is label one I changed that in the first place just call that um, LBL display okay and this one will be LBL show LBL show up show operator LBL show operator will be inside LBL display so let's sort out the property of LBL display Auto size is force and both the style make that fix single and just drag it off about that. Yeah, that's fine. Now delete the text content in there. Come in here, get rid of that. Let's change it to zero align. Right. Change that to about 12. Or maybe 10. 10 we do. Okay, bold. 10 that's fine get this one in there right there and just come to auto size make that force and the text content in it get rid of that there so let's get a couple of buttons on board button that up okay I'll now speed up the design okay that's my button interface let I'm gonna change the background color of this form let's come back here and just change it to let's change that to control light light yeah that's that done so the button is ready as well but it uh, doesn't do anything right now so if I run it let's run it so you guys see okay that's it. and that is our calculator that is the help file so everything is working fine yeah okay close that so with that I'll call it the end of the second part of this tutorial and the, hopefully with the third and final part we 
finish up all the codings.